Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So it's been a while. I must admit I've been a bit busy, lazy, I don't know, whatever it is. But yeah, I haven't done a grocery haul for a while. So here we go, here is my weekly grocery haul. Um, so this one, I, I must admit lately, I haven't been on any budget at all. I've just been getting what I needed. And I probably, this week, I know I hit the 300 mark and I'm pretty sure last week I did too. Um, I have been lucky enough to be able to use my everyday rewards. So last week I think I used 50 or 60 dollars. This week I used 50. Um, so I have been trying to, over the last probably six months, saving up my everyday rewards, which is really cool because coming into Christmas, you got more expenses, holidays, presents. It's good just to have that little bit of backup for those times when you need a little bit of a, he a helping hand. So let's get into what I bought, what my meal plan is for this week, and yeah, we'll do the same thing as I usually do. Well, let's go! Okay guys, so here is my meal plan. So this week we actually have a few events on. So Friday we have a birthday party, Saturday we have the birthday party, um, like at someone else's. I think here we're going to the beach, here we're going to an actual restaurant. Uh, Sunday I actually had chicken mignon down because I ordered, it was on special this week, but they actually were out of stock. So um, I think I'll still go and get them. I'll just have to uh, go to another shop, see if they're still on special, and, and grab them. So that's chicken mignon. Monday, I was going to make, oh, I spelled that wrong, lasagna, or lasagne <laughs> and garlic bread. Um, we have a tomato plant that is just going bonkers, and I've been made it, making like this passata, and I've been freezing it, just so that we can use the tomatoes. Um, so yeah, I made a really yummy spaghetti with it last night. And um, yeah, I'm going to do some lasagna, we're using that. Um, Tuesday tacos, Wednesday hot dogs, and Thursday I haven't decided, apparently. So yeah, let's go and see what I bought this week. Okay guys, so here is my invoice. So I did spend 300 but because I didn't get the chicken mignon, they refunded the 15 so I only had to pay $284.99. Um, however, I did use a $50, um, what's it called? $50 everyday reward, so what's that, $234? That's not too bad, I don't think. But I do still have to go and get the chicken mignon, so I'll still have to pay that. But, look at what I got. Lots and lots and lots. I don't know, it seems small in the, in the um, car, but there's actually quite a lot of food here. So let's just get into it before all of my stuff melts down this end. Okay, so I got, I have been trying to eat a lot healthier this, this week and last week. I've been trying really hard. I'm not on keto or anything. I'm not on any diet. I'm just trying to be mindful of what I eat, eating less of what I eat. So don't go back for seconds. Just have a small plate, maybe have a salad with it. Like we have a lettuce plant outside that has heaps of lettuce. So yeah, I'm trying to make good decisions. So there are a few things in here that um, to do that. And this is one of them. So I like to um, prep meals and then just freeze them. So it's always easy just to throw some veggies in with some leftover mints or something like that. So that's what I got this for. I also saw this, it's probably not super healthy. I, know, I probably could have done it myself for cheaper, but I thought I'd try it. So it's just cauliflower bites. Um, I'm sure there's probably the option to do it in the air fryer. Uh, it says oven. I'm sure you can do it in the air fryer too. I don't use my air fryer enough, so that looked like a yummy option. Ice cream for the boys. Hopefully I can keep myself away from it. Milk up the back here. Same one as usual. Um, I got two um, kilos of beef mints. So one kilo will be for tacos, and the other kilo on the bottom there will be for uh, the lasagna that I'm planning on making next week. Garlic bread to go with lasagna. I got some deli meats here. So we got chicken roll, which is just like a processed chicken. Um, some bacon and some ham. So I only got a little bit of ham because I do already have like, I think half a kilo, half a kilo in the fridge already. So didn't want to get too much, otherwise it goes slimy. Um, 
I got two lots of this cheese that we like. So we go through cheese quite a lot. Uh, it's just so easy to have it as a quick snack with a piece of ham or something. Or uh, the boys have it on their um, their sandwiches in the morning for toasties. So I just got a couple of them, and I'm still going strong with the Woolies brand. I actually think it tastes just as good as the other ones. So yeah, going with those bread. I actually ran out of bread this week. I don't know what happened, but yeah, I had to send the boys what they had spaghetti in their lunch today um and a whole bunch of snacks so yeah no bread um and we actually had to use crusts for toasties i, ha I had four slices and two of them were crusts so <laughs> yeah but there we go four loaves of bread i uh, got some eggs because i'm gonna do some egg like muffin bite kind of things as like a morning snack for myself to try and be a little bit healthier i grabbed this persian feta so i've been looking at recipes and one of them had feta in it um, and tomatoes, cherry tomatoes. I think it was um, potatoes, bean, like green beans, tomatoes, feta, olives. I've got over here somewhere olives, and then it's kind of like a like a Italian. Oh, what do they call it? Niswa salad. Put some egg in there. Yeah, that's that's what I'm planning on doing. So yeah, that's what I got the Persian feta for. I thought it'd be fancy. I don't know. It's a very small slice. <laughs> But yeah, that's what I got. Some butter, was again running low. I thought I'd try this. This isn't actually the one I thought I was getting. I thought I was getting the yummier one, but this is probably healthier. So Jobani Flit Cookies and Cream Crunch. I got two of them. Yogurts uh, for the youngest for lunches. I'm glad he's still eating them. I'll grab some lemon and some garlic. So that I think actually goes into the sauce for the potato salad thing that I was just talking about. Tomatoes, I already said. Apples, I've been trying to eat apples as well. I probably should have gotten two of these, but we'll just start off with one. Bananas, I'm not a big fan of bananas, but I don't mind if they're like in a smoothie or something. So if they start going black, that's when I throw them in the freezer and um, yeah, throw them in a smoothie. Got some paper towel up the back here, we're running low. Um, I got chippies, but then I thought, okay, what is something that's maybe a little bit better for me? So I got these, these oven baked Smith's chips. So I'll try them. I'm not sure if they're, they're, I'm sure they're not healthy, healthy in any way, but they're healthier, I guess, than these ones. I think I haven't really looked, but yeah, that is my option. Grab some cucumber. That's uh, for a different salad. I think that was, um, yeah, a different salad. But yeah, grab some cucumber for that. Um, grab these bechamel sauces for the, the lasagna. Um, I remember once I got heat for using bechamel as it, as my lasagna sauce instead of using ricotta and all the fancy sauce and making my own cheese sauce. Well, this is what I use. I'm a busy mum. I just use convenience. So this is what I use. It's just meat sauce, lasagna sheets, just the, um, what are they called? Just the dry ones. And then bechamel and cheese that's basically all is in my lasagna and you know what it tastes great so don't give me any heat um i got some more uh coffee for the hubby um this one's uh pretty good it's like a refill one and then i just refill the container i have at home and then keep whatever's left in a sealed container so it doesn't go yucky or whatever grab some more wraps um the hubby likes them for tacos and stuff rather than the bowls or anything so the boys get these like bowls so yeah he like they like them got some more taco spices i get two packets because i do uh, a kilo of mints um ran out of beetroot this week oh my god so yeah i had to get a massive tin of beetroot um to keep us going grab some aioli because we're uh, running out taco sauce that's for taco night the olives, that's for some salads that I was talking about. Told you about the chibis. Got some mixes up the back here. So Solo, Sunkissed, Cranberry Juice, which I love. The lasagna sheets. What else have we got? Coke. Uh, so yeah, need some Coke. It's good just to have in the fridge. It's Coke, no sugar. I'm sure there's better options. And the boys are always drinking water. I'm forever filling up water bottles. But you know what? I'm okay if they have a, a Coke once once every now and then. Uh, grab some poppers, um, 
the idea is for them to have them to take away. So like tonight we're going to the beach. It'd be great if we took poppers or something rather than um, buying drinks out or something like that. Uh, what else have we got? We got some toilet paper, massive 24 pack of toilet paper, some dog food. I grabbed some deodorant and some shaving cream. Oh, and last but not least, some lollies. And that is my grocery haul. Okay guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. Sorry that I have been MIA. Um, but I hope you watched my last video, which was my bento lunch options. I finally got around to editing it and uploading it, so I hope you like that. Um, I find that those kind of videos, like those ones that aren't grocery hauls, don't do as well on my channel, so I don't know. They take so much longer to do than a grocery haul, um, but I don't know. I don't know so thanks for watching my grocery hauls and thanks for sticking around guys um, but yeah I hope as everything is okay in your part of the world um, here in Australia it seems like we're starting to open our borders I'm in Queensland so we have been totally lucky to not be affected by COVID-19 and and um, like restrictions as much as other parts of Australia and the world we're so lucky here um, and I do feel horrible that other states in Australia and other countries are not as lucky as us um, and my hearts go out to them if there's anything I could do to make them feel better I don't think there is but I just want those people to, to know that up here in Queensland we, we aren't gloating that's for sure like we can know that it could happen to us at any point However, it looks like we're starting to turn a, like, like the whole border restrictions in Australia. It looks like it's starting to turn. It looks like things are starting to improve. People are getting vaccinated. Things are opening up. So let's hope we just keep continuing in that way. COVID is, is going to be around forever. We just have to start dealing with it and trying to limit the number of people that die from it. Like that is just horrible. But yeah, on a positive note, thanks for watching guys and I will see you in the comments. Bye.